Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the logic circuits made up of NMOS transistors. The NMOS transistor we have seen in the previous video, NMOS transistor and PMOS transistors, those are the two different types of transistors available in the MOSFETs. Okay, if you see the NMOS transistor we are having, I told you along with drain, source and gate terminals along with these three terminals we are also having one more terminal which is nothing but a substrate terminal the arrow mark at the substrate terminal goes inside and the arrow mark of, at the source terminal coming outside if it is the direction of the arrows then we can say it is nothing but n mos transistor n mosfet okay so when this n mos inverter when we are going to create NMOS transistor, NMOS logic circuits like inverter, AND gate or OR gate, whatever the circuit is, first we should create a resistor. First we should create a resistor using this NMOS transistor because in the fabrication of MOSFET, MOS technology, everything should be in terms of transistors. There is no resistor fabrication in the MOS technology. Remember, in MOS technology, there is no resistor fabrication. Entire components, what if you want to make a resistor, that is also made up of transistor only. Okay, all the logic elements must be made up of transistors alone. So, in order to create a resistor from this NMOSFET, we are short-circuiting the gate and drain terminals. That gives a low resistance path. So, for the same transistor, see here, I am just short circuiting the gate and drain terminals this is drain terminal gate terminal and it is the substrate it is the source source and substrate always these two may be connected together source and substrate always connected together so this can also be short circuited like this okay so the gate and drain terminals are connected together this is nothing but there exists a two terminal device between drain and source. This is the drain terminal, this is the source terminal. There is no gate terminal, there is no substrate terminal because the substrate is connected to source and gate is connected to drain. So how many terminals left free? Two terminals. So this resistance is RDS or we can say a on resistance or we can also say a low resistance path between drain and source okay so whenever if you want to use any resistor in the logic circuits you have to use this particular configuration like a drain and gates must be connected together source and substrate also connected together most of the cases in our remaining circuits also remaining transistors also normally when we are using an mosfet then source and substrate connected together Okay, substrate is not generally biased. If you want to operate in a specific region, then you have to uh, give some biasing supply VSB. Okay, substrate voltage to the substrate. Otherwise, we generally connect it together. Source and substrate must be connected together. Okay, now let us see how this NMOSFET can be used to create an NMOS inverter. <coughs> NMOS inverter. So, NMOS inverter, nothing but we are having both, generally we will be having one pull up and one pull down transistor. Generally, in the inverter configuration, it consists of two different transistors or two different sets. One is for pull up, another one is for pull down. Pull up is connected between VCC and our VDD. Here in our technology, as we are using drain, it is VDD and output. And pull down is connected between output and ground. Okay, so we are having two different configurations. One is pull up configuration, another one is pull down configuration. In pull up configuration, the transistors must be connected between power supply VDD 
and output. In pull down configurations, the transistors must be connected between output and ground. Okay, as it is N MOS inverter, as it is N MOS configuration, the pull up transistor is always pull up device is always what there is a resistor. Resistor okay in N MOS configurations, whatever it is, N MOS inverter or N MOS NAND gate or NOR gate, whatever the logic circuit it is the pull up transistors must be made up of a resistor pull up device is nothing but a resistor but we know resistor is nothing but not a direct resistor in the fabrication of mos technology what type of resistor we have to use this one rds <coughs> nmos transistor nmos transistor with drain and source connected together short circuited okay this is pull up device what about the pull down device pull down device is nothing but it is a realization with respect to the logic circuit so pull down device is the realization based on realization based on logic function based on logic function okay that means where we have to connect the input pull up device there is no chance to take the input because in the pull up device we are using a single resistor a single transistor which is acting as a resistor so there is no external input on this particular pull up configuration but whereas in the pull down device we are applying the input signal so here we have to give input how many inputs are there that many inputs that many transistors we have to use okay so input should be applied at pull down network at pull down network how many transistors we have to use pull up consisting of one transistor that already decided here okay so pull up pull up consists of one transistor this is permanent for nmos realization and what about pull down pull down network consists of number of transistors number of transistors equal to equal to number of inputs okay pull down consists of number of transistors equal to number of inputs suppose inverter is the case in our case now we are dealing inverter so inverter is nothing but input is equal to a and output is equal to a complement in such in such case in such case how many number of inputs are there one input so how many number of transistors must be there in the pull down network one transistor so one pull up transistor one pull down transistor these two are sufficient to create an nmos inverter okay so nmos inverter realization is it is having two transistors here we are applying the input a this is the output y plus vdd let it be some 5 volts and this is the drain terminal this is source and again drain source gate is connected to drain this is gate terminal okay and substrate and source are connected together as this is nmos this is nmos realization circuit transistor it is nmos transistor okay this is the logic realization of the nmos fet inverter nmos inverter okay now 
let us check whether it is acting as nmos inverter or not first condition this is nmos inverter now when v input or a is equal to when a is equal to 0 volts okay when a is equal to 0 volt i am taking it as a and y a is the input and y is the output okay if input voltage a is equal to 0 volts what about the transistors name the transistors let it be q1 and q2 q1 becomes always on because q1 is in no way related to the input okay so we no need to specify what happens to the q1 when input is something okay depending on inputs we cannot uh, we cannot say the condition of on and off condition of the q1 because q1 is always set to be on and it is no way related to the input but you have to say q2 what about q2 q2 is off because it is not having sufficient input voltage we are giving zero volts zero volts does not sufficient to make the transistor q2 on so q2 is in off state when q2 is in off state it is simply acts as open circuit what is the open circuit impedance of impedance is equal to 10 power 10 ohms already we have studied this 10 power 10 ohms in the off region and when the transistor is in on state it exhibits one kilo ohm resistance for the mosfet we have studied this so in that case it is acting as a resistor full of transistor is acting as a resistor it exhibits a resistance of 100 kilo ohms a moderate resistance of 100 kilo ohms so q1 okay it is plus 5 volts and now the q2 is open circuited which exhibits a resistance of r of is equal to 10 power 10 ohms so 10 power 10 means very very high resistance high resistance that's why it is simply acting as open circuit current cannot pass through that so this is the output we are taking y so what is the output current is having directly path to the output so y is equal to 5 volts y is equal to 5 volts so input is equal to 0 input is equal to 0 volts output is equal to 5 volts so input output if you are taking the table a y 0 volts and now it is 5 volts okay now let us check when input is equal to 5 volts when input is equal to 5 volts plus 5 volts what happens to the plus 5 volts so q2 comes into on state so when it is in on state or on is equal to 1 kilo ohm so the network will be like this it exhibits a small resistance of 1 kilo ohm and it is around 100 kilo ohms so it is plus 5 volts it is the output y now the current is having a path directly towards the ground okay simply we can replace this ideally we can say a short circuit existed from here to here okay this short circuit has having an impedance of 1 kilo ohm now what happens the current coming from this plus 5 volts directly goes to the ground so what is the output now output is equal to 0 output is equal to 0 volts so when input is equal to plus 5 volts output is equal to 0 volts so in general in logic levels in logic levels we can say when a is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 when a is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 this is the inverting action made up of nmos transistors okay